Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey everybody, welcome back to a quick beer review. Uh, some more North Park. We're on a North Park roll recently. Um, I fucking love North Park beer, so that's where my money goes these days. Uh, we just reviewed Mr. Hoppy last week, which was a West Coast um, IPA, and this is Miss Hoppy. For all you haters who say I hate hazy beer, this is a hazy beer review. Um, I don't hate hazy beer. I'm just tired of it. <laughs> like, there's a difference. Uh, but just the amount of comments I've gotten. I fucking hate hazy beer. Why do you hate hazy beer? I don't hate hazy beer. I'm just, I'm, I'm tired of it. That's all there is out there. Um, I mean, there's breweries that were built and opened on hazy beer, and all they release is hazy beer. Like, you look at beer pages on Instagram, every brewery, every week, hazy, hazy. Everything's hazy. Like, I just... I'm sorry that I'm one of the few people to admit that I'm over it after... I've been drinking hazy beer since 2015. So it's been seven years of the same shit. I just, I'm tired of it. <laughs> I don't hate it. Keep drinking hazy beer if that's what you want to do. So uh, it says, Dank Supreme Hazy IPA 7%. Mr. Hoppy was 7.1%, I think. Uh, double Dry Hopped, it says. Citra Incognito Chinook, old school, love it. Strata, Mosaic, Mosaic Cryo, and Nelson. Um, and this was canned on... April 3rd. Today is April 8th. Five days in the can. Fresh to death. Uh, it has been 100 degrees here the last two days, so it is warm in the garage. Holy fucking hop come. Uh, it is warm out here, so a beer sounds extremely refreshing. This looks like, hey, Stifler, how's the pale ale? But it looks like juice, so um, yeah. I don't have any North Park glassware. I just realized that. I've done a bunch of North Park reviews and I still have not bought North, North Park glassware. I don't need more glassware, but I should probably get some at some point. So, uh, hazy AF, uh, I can smell it. it smells crazy. Um, super hazy, uh, butternut squashy, hop cummy. <laughs> I don't know. Dark tangerine, uh, finger of a fluffy, fluffy, bright white head. Really, really fluffy. Kind of sudsy in the middle, poppy on the outside. We're using our answer sonic glassware because we love video games. This glassware is sick. Like I said, it's, I could, it's, it's, just smells like fruit juice. Show our fat nose in it. This smells like if you were, let's see here, it's pineapple-y, peachy, um, and super like sweet tangerine-y. With a bit of like earthy, it's like, yeah, earth, I think earthy, kind of dusty, dirty. That's probably the Nelson. But it's tropical fruit juice, it's crazy. You know what's weird is the new school West Coast IPAs smell like this, but they don't smell. This has a little bit of that um, calcium fluoride thing, that chalkiness. So these, I mean, the, the aromas are the same as far as like what you're smelling, but this has like that chalky kind of, it smells thick. Like, I, I know that sounds weird, but like if you smell a hazy beer like this and you smell like if I were to, I should do that. I have another can of Mr. Hoppy. Maybe we'll do a side by side. When you smell those beers, they don't smell like it's. <laughs> it sounds so weird to say, but it's not. It, it feels like it doesn't fill up your nostrils, but you're still getting the same intensity of the aroma. Does that make any sense? Probably not. A little bit of like white sourdough bread crust in there too, but this is juice. So let's go and taste it. Cheers. Happy baseball's back, by the way. Opening day was yesterday. Giants won today, one to zero. Let's go. juice crazy um same as the mr hoppy label it says dank supreme hazy ipa um, i don't get any dankness out of this maybe slight orange pith tiny bit of bitterness but this is hop juice it is it's pineapple -y, stone fruit super peachy um orange yeah a little bit of orange pith um, super full mouthfeel, a um, little bit of candied sweetness on the finish, tiny bit of bitterness, like that pithiness kind of hangs out for a second on your palate. Um, but I mean, the IBUs have to be low on this beer. This is just straight haze juice. Um, this doesn't taste yeasty, which is awesome. Um, it just tastes really fruity, but just super full mouthfeel. It's like having a meal. You don't drink hazy beer in a while and then drink one. It is super full. Crazy. Um, but really easy drinking for 7%. I mean, there's no booze. 
it's just it's really light um, it's when I poured it I'm like this is gonna be heavy and yeasty and like hot burning but it's not um, this drinks like a West Coast uh, like new school West Coast IPA as far as like not feeling heavy or full um, mouthfeel is definitely full but it doesn't feel heavy so um, this is really really good fantastic North Park Haze is delicious. I mean, I've enjoyed all the hazy North Park beer I've had. Um, yeah, and this is winter, especially in fucking 100 degree weather. So if you like candied fruit juice with a little bit of pithy citrus, um, this is the beer for you. So um, yeah, Mrs. Hoppy. It's a good uh, addition to the Mr. Hoppy series. They also did uh, Hoppy Junior, Junior Hoppy, Hoppy Junior, which is a West Coast Pale Ale, which we will also review. Um, that I'm very much looking forward to. So that is it. Miss Hoppy. Good, good stuff. Good haze from North Park. You guys had it? Leave a comment below. You guys stoked the baseball's back? I am. Which team do you like? If you say the Dodgers, you're getting fucking blocked. So that's it. See you guys soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All that shit. <laughs> I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.